Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. 27 June 2020, Saturday of the week of Pentecost 3. <clears throat> Excuse me, the reading, Leo I, Pope Leo, that is, 400, 461. Let us not think abstinence from food alone is desirable. For it is not enough that the substance of our flesh should be reduced if the strength of the soul be not also developed. When the outer man is somewhat subdued, let the inner man be somewhat refreshed. When body excess is denied to our flesh, let our mind be invigorated by spiritual delights. Let every Christian scrutinize himself and search severely into his innermost heart. Let him see that no discord cling there, no wrong desire be harbored. Let chasteness drive incontinence far away. Let the light of truth dispel the shades of deception. Let the swellings of pride subside. Let wrath yield to reason. Let the darts of ill treatment be shattered and let the chidings of the tongue be bridled. Let thoughts of revenge fall through and injuries be given over to oblivion. In fine, in short, let every plant which the Heavenly Father hath not planted be removed by the roots. Matthew 15, 13. For then only are the seeds of virtue well nourished in us when every foreign germ is uprooted from the field of wheat. The Closing Prayer, E. Lee Phillips, 1941. Forgive us, Almighty God, for camping on the periphery and living on the border, never facing the central sins of our lives. Made for thy truth, we are deceptive and untruthful. Blessed with intelligence, we seek thy wisdom sporadically, capable of deep caring. We want to be congratulated and cared for. Created for fellowship, we are too busy to pray. Endowed with plenty, we hoard the best part. Intended for the deep, we court the trivial. These circles of folly surround our sin of rebellion against thee. What we were made to enjoy in abundance, we reject with pride. Pardon us, we pray. Sin confessed looses its grip on us. Therefore, strengthen us in thy mighty hand and center us through faith in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.